What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a final year medical student and a biomedical science graduate studying at King's College London. And in this video, I'll be telling you guys about five key tips that have really helped me be successful in university. And in particular, getting a first class in my last degree, getting into medical school, and then finally also getting through medical school to the point where I'm at now, uh, thank God, which is almost being a doctor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the first tip being find a schedule that works for you and stick to it. Now in life there's definitely two types of people. The first type of people are people who do things on a schedule and the second type of people are people who do things haphazardly and whenever they feel like it. And what I've actually realized whilst being in university for the last eight years is that the people who tend to be successful are the people who do things with an exact schedule every single day rather than just doing things whenever they feel like it and randomly throughout the day. What's really important whilst at university is to take the time to find out what exactly works for you. Now for me personally what I realized is that I'm definitely not a morning person. There is nothing that I hate more than waking up really early in the morning. And of course, I'll have to do it if I need to in medical school, like if I need to start the ward round at 9 a.m. and be there with the consultant and the rest of the team. But if I don't have a ward round that early in the morning, then I know myself, I won't be awake earlier than 7.30 or 8 a.m. And most days I don't actually start working until 9.30 or 10 a.m. at the very latest. And that's just how I work. I'm very happy to work into the late hours of the evening if I have to, but generally speaking I know I'm not a morning person I definitely have more of a late morning slash you know evening chronotype and to be honest every single person in this world is different everyone has a different chronotype so whilst you're at university in order to achieve what you want to do I highly suggest you find a schedule that works for you so don't just copy your friend's schedule which is to wake up at three or four o'clock in the morning because that's just how they work find a schedule that works for you and once you do make sure you stick to it and that's not just to do with waking up in the morning and going to bed at a particular time it's it's to do with absolutely everything you do in university. Make sure you have a schedule for the things that are important for you, whether that's going to the gym, you know, going to the library, playing sports, doing mindfulness, reading, any sort of activity that is important for you. Make sure you're able to fit it into your schedule and do the same thing at the same time every single day. That's the first tip. Let's move on to the second one. Okay, so the second tip kind of feeds off the first tip, but it's basically when you actually find a schedule that works for you, be consistent with it. Consistency is king. And I honestly mean that consistency is is king. Deciding on a few things in life that are important for you and making an actual schedule is really important, but none of that actually matters unless you're doing it every single day and being consistent with it. And that's one thing that I've really tried to do throughout university. When I'm actually revising for my exams in medical school, I don't just wait until the last two weeks to actually start studying. I make sure that every single day I'm very consistent with my work. So as soon as I come home from the hospital or come home after my lectures, I'm straight on my desk and I'm consistently making sure Sure that I'm learning every single day and not just waiting until the last minute to actually start doing my work. I'm consistent with what I need to do and what I find important every single day on that schedule that I made up. So again, if there's one piece of advice I can give to you and also to my younger self is to choose certain habits that are important for you, find a schedule and then make sure you're consistent with it every single day. Don't just do things whenever you feel like it. Don't just leave things to the last minute. Make sure that you're revising and studying for your exams every single day and doing other things that are important for you in your life around that as well. And the third super important tip that I just had to include in this video is to be very intentional with all of the decisions you make. When you go to university and also while you're at university, there's gonna be so much temptation. There's gonna be people that might want to tempt you to skip lectures, to maybe you know go partying every night or maybe even as bad as doing drugs. And what's really super easy is to go about your day not thinking about the decisions you're making day to day and kind of just you know going with the flow. But what's really important and my honest advice to you is to make sure that every decision you make is completely intentional. And what I mean by that is before acting on any decision to actually sit down with yourself and say, okay, if I make this decision, is that gonna take me closer to my goal that I have for myself or is it gonna take me further away? Is what I'm actually going to do in line with who I am, my personal beliefs and everything that is, you know, makes me me or is it taking me away from myself? If you decide that, you know what, I just finished writing this essay, I've worked super hard and I am gonna go clubbing tonight, then by all means, make that decision and go enjoy yourself. But if if you've been clubbing the last three nights in a row and you have an essay that's due in one week's time, you know, again, be very conscious with your decisions. Think about what consequence this might have on your future and then make your decision based on that thought process. And that is literally what I do till this day. And I think that's the main thing that has allowed me to avoid making major mistakes in my life. Of course, I have made mistakes, but with every decision I make, I always think about whether or not it's going to help me or whether or not it's going to harm me. So that's the next tip for you guys. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so we're going to take a quick break in the video to thank our sponsors 
sponsors today, which is Amber. Now, as a student who's been in university for the last eight years, I know just how difficult it is to actually find a good student accommodation that you really, really like. I remember, especially back in my first and second year of uni, really struggling to find good accommodations. But in order to save you guys the time and the pain that I went through, I wanna tell you guys about Amber, who is basically a very large platform that allows you to find and book accommodations near your university. Amber is actually Southeast Asia's largest accommodation provider, and they're currently operational in over 100 cities, including Australia, all across Europe, and also in America as well. What I really like about Amber is that you're able to actually book your accommodation in three easy steps, and the whole entire process is very seamless. So the first step is searching for your accommodation, and you're actually able to search according to your own personal preferences, depending on your budget, and also the sort of size you want. So whether it's an ensuite or a studio, and that makes it really easy to find the place you wanna live in. Once you actually find the place you live in, and you wanna actually finalize the accommodation, it's actually super easy to do. The reason being is they have free and really helpful assistance throughout the whole entire process. They also have a few added features which I really like, which are the student-friendly initiatives, such as the COVID-19 policy, under which they offer a few things like free cancellations, also taking away the fear of all these visa issues. So if you don't get a visa, you don't actually have to pay for your accommodation. And finally, also a bunch of freebies for all the students. The executives over at Amber will help you throughout the entire process, including taking care of all of the annoying paperwork, like all the lease agreements and stuff like that. And also before actually moving into accommodation, you're able to actually view the property using their live viewing sessions and also from the on the ground property experts. So if you guys are going to university and you want to find out more information about Amber, I'll leave a link down below in the description to go ahead and check out how amazing the student accommodation service really is. So that's Amber. Let's get back to the rest of the video. Now, the second last tip that I have for you guys is to choose the right circle of friends, which is super, super important. The friends that you choose in university will have the biggest influence on your performance. I promise you guys that. It's kind of like that saying that said that you're the average of the five closest people near you. And I honestly believe in that quote so much. When I actually joined university, I actually went through a number of social groups. I met loads of different people and I probably didn't choose my you know, final friends group probably until like four weeks into my course. And even until this day, I still make friends who I want to add to my life and also friends that I can also add value to as well. So my recommendation when you're in university is to definitely, you know, meet as many people as you possibly can, make loads of friends. But when you actually come to making a final decision on who you want to spend the rest of the next three to five years with, make sure that they're the sort of people who you want to become. Make sure they're the sort of people that have the skills and the values that also reflect the ones that you have as well. And of course, also importantly, make sure you're choosing people who you can also help add value to as well. The friends that I first made in my first degree at university almost over eight years ago are still the best friends I have until this day. And even the friends I met when I first started medical school around five years ago are the friends I'm still very close to today. So that makes your decision very, very important. When you leave university, I promise you that these people are gonna become your friends for life, which makes your decision about who you wanna be around in university super, super important. So don't rush the decision. Make sure that you're actually making an intentional decision on who you want to be friends with. So choose your friends wisely. The last and final tip that I have for you guys is that time has memory, location has energy. And this tip kind of ties back to what I said at the very beginning, which is that your habits have memory. You know, the time that you do something in has memory. So as an example, as I mentioned to you guys, I woke up around 8 a.m. every single day and I started revising at 10 a.m. every single day. I also went to the gym at 8.30 p.m. every single day at the same exact time, because as I said, time has memory. So if you do a certain task at the same time every single day, it's gonna make it a habit and it's gonna make actually starting that task a lot easier because your body will remember the time. What also ties in that is that location has energy. And what I mean by that is certain environments have certain energies that allow you to do what you want to do. So for example, I really enjoy you know working in my room. I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, although the monitor turned off behind me, I love working at this desk that I have right behind me. And it's very, very comfortable. Of course, I love my setup, but when it comes down to crunch time when I have an exam coming up in a couple of weeks time I'm not sat on my desk working I'm going straight to the library where I can get the most amount of energy possible because the energy in my room is very chilled it's very you know relaxed this is not the energy that's going to help me get to where I want to be if I want to actually revise hard and prepare and be successful in what I want to do then the library is exactly where I'm going to be so whilst at university I really highly recommend that you guys remember that time has memory location has energy if you want to be successful in a certain task make sure you're doing it the same same time every day and also at the same location with the same energy every single day. Now, I hope that all makes sense. I hope these tips have added value to you guys. If it has, then please make sure to drop
drop a like down below. Make sure you're subscribed as well, with notifications on so you never miss another upload. And before you guys go, here are a bunch of videos on my channel that I think you guys will really enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.